Hey y'all, it's Brie. So, tonight, I kind of felt in a good mood to do a video today. I really have. So I'm taking my glass off because I know the glare from these glasses just mixed with this light is just a lot. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a few videos tonight. I feel very inspired to do so. Um, so yeah, this one I'm going to do first is a uh, personal q and A. I did a uh, multiple sclerosis q and A. If you haven't done so already, you should go <laughs> check it out. But I'm going to do a personal q and A um, because I was thinking about what I actually want this channel to contain and what I want to do on it. Yes, I want to reach out to other people who have multiple sclerosis and stuff like that. But I also want to have this channel for me as well. So I'm going to do, uh, you know, getting to know me, I guess. So I found me some questions online. So I'm going to do some of them. I'm not going to do all of them because I think it's like 264 or something like that. And that's a lot of questions. So, Brianna's not finna do that. Wait a minute. The first one is, have you ever met anyone famous? No, I'm going to though. I, like, I have learned that in order for things to happen, I have to speak into existence. Like, as that's something I know for sure, for sure, that I'm going to have happen. And no, I have not, but I will. Would you like to be famous? Um, all to a certain extent, I wouldn't like all the stuff that came with being famous, but only would think about it is because I want the green. That's the only reason. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Hmm. Probably me worrying about stuff that I had no reason worrying about. Or that didn't matter. Like, it's, it's like, I feel like that's something I would change because the way I think. It's probably, many things probably wouldn't have happened. It's like, many things probably wouldn't have happened to me if I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I really don't. Have you ever been in the snow? Yeah. I, I was about to sit here and be like, who, who hasn't? But it's actually legit. Some people have not seen the snow. Or being in the snow. But yes, I have been in the snow. And actually, I kind of like the snow. I just don't like that it's cold. I wish we could have snow and then that'd be cold outside. Like, just give me snow, but don't let it be cold. Who would be your... What is... What I can't read now? Okay. What is your ideal partner? That's an excellent question. And I'm going to do say you appearance and characteristics. Okay. I would like somebody who's in tune to what I have going on. So like, I was like, for people who don't know, I was diagnosed with muscle sclerosis in 2017. So I want to be with somebody who is like, 
who cares about that kind of thing like oh you not your doctor say you're not supposed to do this or your doctor say you do this oh i read up that you supposed to do this so i read up on this somebody who just is into you know what i have going on and somebody who pursues in the career that i have or supportive of me somebody who listens a gentleman because i kind of like old i'm kind of old-fashioned a little bit oh i like old-fashioned i like dudes who still open doors like just trying to show a female good time like and i like somebody who's different too i don't like the same old like the dudes i grew up with i couldn't date but I just, I don't know. I just like something different that's out of the ordinary that I ain't never dealt with before. That I ain't never seen before. Do you still have your childhood teddy bear? Yes. My dad actually gives me a teddy bear every Valentine's Day. So I've literally kept every teddy bear that I've got for Valentine's Day. So I literally you know, have teddy bears for these. I may not keep up with them all the time, but I have them. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Um, probably eight to ten. I don't really go nowhere for me to like buy different type of shoes. Like and okay, with MS and having, you know, you being imbalanced, you know, I I try to stay close to flat for the shoes. Like, be walking around in heels or shoes that are this thick at the bottom. Like, that just, it just doesn't work for me. So, always trying to find shoes that I could put on that's, that works well for me. Do you like TV talent shows? Mm-hmm. I more so like watching them on YouTube more than watching them on TV. You feel me? It's edited and you don't have to wait for a commercial to be over. It's like, so I guess, yeah, it depends on the, it depends on the talent show. What's your opinion on reality TV shows? Um, it depends on what TV show. T reality TV, it's all right. It's just sometimes I don't like it because it's fake. Like, reality TV isn't real. They just, they pretty much tell you what they want to happen. And they fall around with a camera. Yeah, it's just. Do you like scary movies? I actually like scary. It depends. I like real disaster scary movies. I like scary movies like that. I like a zombie scary movie. Like, I just know that one day I wouldn't be surprised if zombies end up walking in the streets because I don't know. I just, I just enjoy watching stuff like that. And I like coming out with coming up with what I think I would, what would happen, who I would, you know, want to be with if. I don't have a job. If we end up having a zombie apocalypse, like always, trying to come up with stuff like that. I'm crazy. Um, have you ever fired a real gun? No, I really want to go to the gun range though, but I have not fired a gun. It's probably best that I have not fired a gun because. Buddy. What's the last film you watched? Um, it was, yeah, Dare to Dream something. It was a really good movie. Um, do you, do I like roller coasters? Ugh, it depends on the roller coaster. It depends on how you strapped in. I don't like roller coasters that the bar comes over your lap. I like roller coasters that the bar comes over your head. I think those are stunt coasters, I think. Or either stunt... I, I could have mixed them up. But I don't know. It just depends. If the ride looks safe, I'll get on it. 
<laughs> like, but no, I don't get all every roller coaster. I don't know. Have you ever cried during a film? Yes. Cried the most recent film I cried was Train of was it's Train like, of It's like it's a zombie movie, right? Okay, I'm just making to what happened. Okay, so the reason why I cried is because this guy he got bit by a zombie and you hear it take them about five to seven minutes to change or whatever and he had a little girl with him his daughter and he didn't want to get her sick he didn't want to infect her he want to bite her he want to kill her so he had to sacrifice himself so he would save her life or whatever and it just made me cry because she was holding she was trying to hold on her dad for their life like it was it was just so sad. Like I'm probably gonna watch that movie tonight before I go to bed. But it was it was such a sad movie. It really was. Like it broke my little heart. I wouldn't want to be alone. What was my first job? My first job was at Panera. Panera Bread. That was my first job. At the catering hub. That was my very first job. Um, it was probably the best job I've ever had. <laughs> like it was, it was one of those jobs where you can kind of wear what you wanted to work. Like you didn't have to. Well, the only thing you had to wear was a work hat. So I guess you kind of had to be in uniform, but you didn't like have to dress in Panera stuff. And I didn't have to pay for food when I went. Like, all the bread that we didn't use for that one night, um, we were able to make sandwiches with the leftover bread that we had. It was just, it was just nice. Like, like I probably won't ever have another job like that, but it was nice. If I won a thousand dollars, what I spend it on? I really want to feed the homeless. Like I really want to go to a um a soup kitchen or something and like just give people like I don't know why but for some reason I feel like that's my calling for being on this earth is to help people in some way or the fashion. I want to. I want to help people so bad. But um for right now in order for me to help people in a way that I want to, you know, you gotta spend money to make money. And I probably would buy me uh, a new laptop. I do need a new laptop because the laptop I have, it came out 2013 and it's it's old. And it's a little slower than usual. It's a refurbished laptop, so I didn't exactly own it first. Someone else did, so I don't know what they did to it, what condition it was in. But I probably would give me a, a new laptop. And the laptop was like $300. It was cheap. So, psh, why not? Uh, okay. If I was an animal, what would that be? I kind of want to be a koala bear for some reason. Like, I think they look so cute and ugly at the same time. But I really want to be a koala bear. Have you ever broken the law? Yeah. And by broken the law, the only thing I've done was like smoke weed. That that's and that was a long time ago. I don't really do that now for medical reasons, but that's probably the only thing I've done that was against the law. I haven't I don't drive, so I haven't ran a red light. I haven't, you know. I it just I that's probably that's the only thing I could come up with bad me breaking the law if what was your best childhood memory of your sibling okay i have two siblings so i'm going to tell you one memory for the, each of them okay one memory with chris was okay i was a bad child and i made my siblings do stuff a lot when we was kids um Probably when I had Chris 
when Chris, um, no, when me and Chris flooded up our kitchen, that was probably one of my favorite memories of him, of us just doing crazy stuff. Like, I tried to put him in the oven. Like, I tried to cook him. We was hungry, but I didn't think about if I cooked Chris, how would Chris eat? Like, I tried to do what I had to do to feed the both of us. But if I cooked him, how, what, how was he going to eat? Like, Jason... Me and Jason didn't really, like, do nothing wrong. Okay, I could tell you one of each, and then I could tell you one that I had with both of them. Okay. One memory I had with Jason. Jason, when Jason was little, right, we used to we used to watch wrestling when we was little. So, Jason thought it was a good idea to get on top of the bunk bed. Because my brothers had bunk beds. He thought it was a good idea to get on top of the bunk bed. And jump off the bunk bed into this little wooden desk that my brother had in his room. And, oh, my God. That's probably one of my favorite things that he did. Oh, we locked him in the room with the bed. <laughs> different story for a different day. But, um, <laughs> um, with the both of them, it's probably when we put Vaseline on the bunk bed. When we thought it was the truth in the house. And mind you, it probably wasn't a true in the house. It probably something I just came up with to, I was bored. And I told my brothers that somebody broke into the house. So we need to put a boob trap on the book bed. So we took Vaseline and we put Vaseline on all the handles and all, everything that somebody could touch. And we, we was making too much noise. I think we had to go to school the next day. And my dad came upstairs and when he put his hand on the bunk bed, my dad here just said, Shoo. he said, what the hell? <laughs> Let me tell you something. That made my day. When I tell you, I always think of the story. When I tell the story, I laugh at the same part. Like my dad just put his hand on there and it slid. And he looked at his hand like, what's going on? And mind you, dude, the girl I am, I blamed it on Chris and Jason. I didn't like when I was a kid. I told you I was bad. Like I didn't, I didn't like in my mind. I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. So my brothers did, and my dad told me to go in my room, and he told me to go in my room and pretend. Well, he told me to go in my room and go to sleep, and he was like, "Bro, do you sleep yet?" I said, "Almost," and they ended up getting beaten for it. I'm not, I'm sorry, but I'm not finna get my butt tapped, even though I told him to do it. But. What are your nicknames for each of my siblings? Okay, I call Chris Buddy right now. I, I keep, I just call him now. I don't know what made me call him that, but. Like, buddy. Like, that's my buddy. And Jason is J. Um, I, I call him everything in the book. Like, I cuss out him. I do all that kind of stuff. I just call Jason whatever will come to my head at the moment. Like, I'm always picking with him. <sighs> Hopefully he come home tomorrow or something because I ain't seen him in a little minute. What do you call your grandparents? Um, Grandma, Papa, and Mimi, and Pop Pop. Even though, Apple Juice. Apple Juice is probably a favorite, a go to. Ooh, excuse me. I love Apple Juice. Whew. What was your favorite subject in high school? I sucked at it, but I, I really like math. I wasn't good at it, but I really like it. That probably was my favorite. It was like a few months ago. I watched it with my mom, and that was one of the most saddest movies that I ever looked at. It was so cute, though. It's like, I'm a sucker for love stories and romantic movies and stuff, and I thought that was really cute. 
do you have a tattoo? No, I don't have a tattoo. Think about getting one, but I don't have one. Um, I really want one on my forearm. I might put a picture of what I want. But that's the tattoo I want. Um, do you believe in love at first sight? I think, okay. See, like, I've had this conversation with so many people. I think that sometimes, I guess you could say that if you look at somebody for the first time or just, like, have a conversation with them for the first time, you can clearly, like, tell, like, you probably will marry this person or, like, I don't know. I guess I've never seen it. So I don't know. I have never been through it myself. Not love at first sight. So I don't know. But yes, I do believe in it. I believe when you look at somebody, you just know. You just know. But it's at the top of your bucket list. I don't even have a bucket list. I ain't even reached my fifties yet. Tell me about that list. Uh bucket list. I said birthday list. Um I really wanna go skydiving, but I'm scared. Like I really wanna go skydiving, but I'm scared to go. What's the last compliment you got? Um probably I'm strong. Somebody told me this on my channel, actually. And I saw it. And mind you, I don't know this person. So to me, to hear something like that from the outside world, I was like, somebody actually noticed that I was strong and told me I was strong. Like, it meant the world to me. But yeah, that was probably my last compliment. What is under your bed? Um, a pair of shoes, a shirt, uh, one sock, and a bag. Because I was supposed to go somewhere, so I packed a bag, and I didn't go anywhere. So, I guess it kind of, like, slid under my bed. But, I don't really... I just cleaned under my bed, so it's nothing really under it. An extension cord. But, that's it. Um, if you have a nickname, what is it? Ooh, I got plenty of nicknames. I've been called Babyface before, Babyface Bird. And I kind of do have a baby face. So, um, I have that one. My dad gave me a nickname. I can't wear that nickname out because that nickname is <laughs> too personal and too embarrassing. Uh, pretty. Some people call me Bono. Uh, don't. Um, be. Beezy. Breezy. Like. Just depends. But I've had a lot of nicknames. Would you rather live in a one bedroom apartment? All alone, or a one bedroom. Wait, would you rather live in a five bedroom apartment all alone, or five, or live in a one bed apartment with five kids? Probably in a five bedroom apartment by myself. I don't. Mm -mm. I'm team for getting new kids, so I don't. Mm -mm, I'm not even. <clears throat> I can't even think about turning right now. Nope. Pick one. Cheat or be cheated on. Probably be cheated on. And let me let me explain why. Honestly, because I don't want to I don't want to bring pain to nobody else. And I know this is weird for me to say this, but I feel like I go through so much in life that I don't and I have a lot of pain in me that I'd rather put pain on myself than to put pain on somebody that, you know, I say I love or somebody that I'm with. I don't know. I'm just, 
And I don't know where this came from because when I was little, I wasn't like this. Like, for me to think of other people before myself, I wasn't like this at all. So. But that's all I'm going to do because this video from how I look at it, it is running in about 26 minutes. And I don't know how much storage I have to be, you know, gabbling on. But when I edit this, this will probably be at 20 minutes. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean the world if you did those things. So please go ahead and do it. And if um, please give that bell a ring and click on it. So you are notified when I do post a video. Thank you.